So there's not just one day that passes without us having to copy something from one place to another. It's one of those underrated capabilities that we don't even think about. So the rest in peace, Larry Tesler, he was the inventor of copy paste. But even copy paste cannot help us if we have so much data that we need to fill. Take, for example, this email where we have to copy the data into an online form. As long as you have one email or two emails, you can do it in 60 seconds and you will be just fine. But the moment this becomes 500 or 600 emails, it becomes a really tedious task and it will basically take so many hours out of your day. So if you find a better way to basically copy and paste in bulk, it will be so much easier for you to do it. This is where Clipboard AI come in. It's a standalone product from UiPath that is basically going to revolutionize the way that we copy paste. First time I saw that product was in 2022. It was a private presentation from UiPath in Bucharest, Romania. And since then, I couldn't wait for this product to be available for everyone. I think this is one of the best products that UiPath have ever introduced. And I think you're going to take so much out of this tutorial. So watch until the end. And if you appreciate this type of content, drop a like and subscribe and let's jump to my screen. So first thing first, let's download the clipboard AI on our machine. To do that, we need to navigate to this website. You will find it in the description below. And then you just need to type in your email address and then you can click on download. And after you click on download, you will basically have this download clipboard AI and you can just download it like I have just done right now and you can click on open file click on next and you will need to click on next 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 until install I already have it on my machine so I don't need to do that so once you do that you need to open it just go here and look for clipboard AI of course to open it and you will have this little menu and this is what allows you to copy from one page to another. Okay, so let's start with the first use case, which is uh, copying basically uh, an invoice that we have here and copying it inside of an Excel sheet. Let's see for this first use case, how it is going to perform. So let's go back here and let's click on copy window. So the window is gonna be already in focus. Make sure that when you copy the window, it's basically highlighting it in uh, green. Let's go back to Excel and then let's click on paste in Excel. It will paste uh, automatically uh, starting from A1. So it understood that we are in Excel and it starts pasting in here. So as you can see, it is very quick. It didn't take so much time for the OCR and for the action of pasting. So it is very quick. That's the first thing to see. The second thing that we should check is that did it do a good job in terms of uh, reading the text? because the text is going to be the most challenging. Numbers are easier to read, generally speaking, but text, let's see if it did a good job. So decorative clay pottery, custom designed, custom designed, uh, hand painted, let's string, hand painted ceramic faces, let's string, velvet draw pillows, large ornamental mirror, large on so it did a great job. 10 meters each, okay. So it did a great job in terms of reading the text. So we know that the OCR is performance, and now let's see about the other information inside of the text. 10, 2, 4, 3, 5, 1. 10, 2, good. And then the amounts, so 1350. That is very good. Okay, so right out of the bat, we see that it did not copy the subtotal sales tax and shipping handling and total due. So let's see if there is a, another place where it has copied it in the first table. Yes, so it did copy it and we can see here that it has been able to copy it. So even though that uh, this is uh, one table, it understood that adding uh, this numbers, these numbers here to this table will not make so much sense. It's added it to the other table, which basically has the other information, which is the header of the invoice. It's as if it's considered this to be the header, this to be the footer. So it's copied the data from this place and then it's copied the table on its own because it made more sense for the model basic, which is very good. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's very good. Now let's see how accurate the data is at the start. So the vendor name, of course, is correct. Then the date, it's correct. Uh, the invoice number, good. The date, it has been able to transform it into a date in here, so that's very good. Then the billing name, we have it right here. 
and the billing address. So even though that we don't have, for example, labels for the vendor address, we don't have something called vendor address, it's understood that this is the vendor address and separates the data and then added it to a table in itself. So it's like it's analyzing the whole data on its own and it's understood the, the label for this exact data. So I am very, I am actually very impressed by this type of behavior because it, it makes life so much easier. Good, so uh, for the rest, I think it did a great job. I've already tested it before and it's basically doing a great job in general. So the first test, 10 out of 10, it basically nailed it. It's exactly how I want my data to be pasted. So that's good. That's the first use case. Now let's go to the second use case where we want to be able to paste the data inside of a web application. So in this case, we are going to have a form that is like this. And we want to be able to paste the data directly from the Excel that we just had. So to be able to do that, we are going to first select our first table. And then we are going to click on copy cells. So uh, Clipboard AI automatically detects the cells that we are already selecting. And then we're going to go to the form that we have here. It's a Google form. And then we're going to click on paste in form. And as you can see here, it has been able to detect and it will just take over and starts pasting again like it should. So it's basically pasted all the data. And then we can just click on submit and we can make sure that the data is correct. I have already checked multiple times. The data is 100% correct. And we're gonna click on submit. So now you probably wanna tell me that why did we need to go through an Excel sheet? Why couldn't we just copy the data from the invoice directly into the web form without going through the Excel sheet? In this case, I will tell you that you are correct. We can absolutely do that. I just wanted to show you that it can understand the data basically arrange it into a data table in an Excel sheet in a very understandable manner. And then we can still copy from the Excel sheet itself into the web application. But in normal times, if our goal is to have this information be filled inside of the form and not any type of Excel sheet, we can absolutely go here and then click on copy window directly from here and go back into the, into the form and then click on paste in form and it will basically, in this case, show me the form because we have information that is not present inside of the form. So we have this quantity and we have other information that is not present in the form. So in this case, it wanted to ask me that this is the information that I found. This is how am I going to uh, map the, uh, the, the information? Because for example, back in here, we have we have date as the name, but in the form, we have invoice date. So it shows me that, for example, date is going to be mapped to invoice date. So it shows me all the mapping and it shows me that this table of four columns has been detected that I have here, but it hasn't been mapped to anything inside of the form in here. So that's why it will only uh, basically paste only this data that we have here. So in this case, I will just click on paste data and it will start pasting the data that it has. So we can go directly from a scan document from an image that is a PDF directly into the form without going through any Excel sheet. So it will paste the data. And once it's finished, I can just click on submit and that's it. Okay, so now we have worked with Adobe Acrobat, with Excel, and then with, with Google Form. So we are working with the mainstream tools from Adobe, Microsoft, and Google. But this tool can work to anything else, to any web application, to any desktop application, and this is the best thing about it. So now we're going to see a different use case where we need to fill not just one information, just one line of information. We have multiple lines of information that we need to basically fill. What can Clipboard AI do in this case? Is it going to be interactive enough? Now we're going to see a different use case. We're going to go to this website in here. And we basically want to fill this website multiple times because we have this Excel sheet right here. And we have uh, three lines. And we want to be able to fill in these three lines inside of here. Is it going to be interactive enough to be able to fill in and wait for us in order to click on submit and then fill another time? So we're going to go here and then we are going to select the cells where we want to 
copy our data. Then we are going to click on copy cells. We're going to go back into Chrome and then we are going to click on paste in form. And then it will show me the different information. It's, as you can see here, we have three rows. It detected that we have three rows uh, in a list and it showed me all of the information that it's basically should uh, be able to paste. So let's click on paste data. And as you can see here, it will start pasting. It can detect radio box, male and female. It can de detect drop down lists like hobbies, for example, and it can select in them no problem. So the contact and the additional information, and then it will show me this little menu in here. And this menu basically show me that it has been able to input the first one, and then I can click on paste data to start the second one. So here I would click on submit. This will add a line in here. And then I can click on paste data again. So it can start with the second one. So we have this interactive attended mode that basically allow us to paste multiple lines at the same time, multiple rows at the same time. And this is very useful. If you have so many information and you should fill the form again and again and again, this clipboard AI can assist you in that work. So that I say is one of the best things about Clipboard AI. And of course the third one, and it will be able to paste it like the, the, the first two. So this is one of the best things about Clipboard AI. And it's actually a very uh, useful thing that I've, that I've actually worked with when I am copying things into SAP or Salesforce or other uh, ERPs. That's very good, submit, and that's basically it. So until now we have seen that it has basically been able to uh, copy from invoices. It has been able to copy from Excel sheet. It is able to copy from any website into any other website. And this is what we call AI copy paste. So we're not just copying one data or one image or etc. We are copying entire data and the AI behind it is able to understand what is this data is. Is it a table? Is it just a text? And then it can map it to the elements of the target application. And that's very impressive. So the last thing I want to show is the transform ability. For this example, we are going to copy the data from an email, not from an Excel or a PDF. So we have this email in here that contains the data that we want to fill inside of here. So what we are going to do is basically copy the window. And then we are going to go back here and I am going to click on paste form. This will open the mapper. And inside of here, I can see that for example, in my email, I have at example.com. So we are going to consider that this is an error and we want this to basically be gmail.com. So to do this, we are going to click on the arrows in here and then we're going to say change the domain name to gmail.com. We are going to hit enter and as you can see here, it have changed example to gmail.com. If we had multiple profiles in here, it will do the same thing. If we had an email with multiple profile details, the transform will basically replace all of the domain names to gmail.com. So now we're going to click on paste data and it will basically go ahead and do the same thing like uh, we had before. So I'm going to stop it. No need to see it. So yeah, that's basically it. So that has been me and I will see you guys next time. Take care of yourself. Peace.